Crocodile, the drug that is literally eating people's skin alive from the inside out. And I'm gonna show you guys some images, some pictures. This stuff is horrifying. Let's go. As always, Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help if you have an addiction. Also, this video contains some graphic images. Please, discretion is advised if that type of stuff bothers you. So what is Crocodile? Crocodile was first synthesized in 1920 by a group of German scientists working for Knoll, but then synthesized again in 1932 in the U.S., and that's when it was recognized. Also, it was patented in 1934 for commercial use. It's desomorphine. That's what it is. They were originally trying to find you know, a morphine derivative or something from morphine that had better effects. What they realized right away is it had more powerful effects than morphine. It, you know, was very effective in treating pain. One of the reasons people really liked desomorphine when it first came out is it had less side effects than morphine, less respiratory effects and less nausea. So they thought maybe this could be a great painkiller, a great new thing. What they found out very quickly was that because it was more powerful and the half-life was so much less, that the effects went away so much quicker, so it was actually a lot more addictive and people needed it more and more and more often. We hear that a lot, especially you know with fentanyl, like my other videos with fentanyl. Fentanyl hits hard, hits quick, but goes away quicker, and then people need to do it more and more and more often during the day. Desomorphine is 10 to 15 times more powerful than morphine. So what exactly is crocodile? Well, crocodile is the desomorphine, which is synthesized from codeine. And people found out very early on that you could make it for cheaper and quicker than heroin. Basically, it's like the meth of cocaine. Cocaine, you know, there had to be more production in these labs and things like that. People realized, oh, we can go to the store and buy blah, 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 and make meth. That's what desomorphine is to heroin. People realized, oh, we could buy codeine tablets and then mix it with our own stuff, all stuff that could pretty much be bought right from the store and make their, you know, make their drug. The process takes about 10 to 45 minutes and they can create a batch of crocodile. One of the main reasons it is so dangerous and destroying people is the additives that are mixed with it to create the end product. Some of those additives are lighter fluid, gasoline, hydrochloric acid, iodine, one of the most common ones, paint thinner, and red phosphorus, which is the matchbook. You strike the match, that the red part of the match. That stuff is what they're using to mix this with. I mean, I can't imagine what gasoline and paint thinner are doing to, to the skin. I mean, that's what we're gonna get into in a minute. I'm gonna show you the pictures, but oh my God, that is brutal. Street names for Crocodile, you got Dezo, Croc, Crocodile, Cody, you know, a shorter version of Cody, uh, Poor Man's Heroin, Russia Magic, Alligator Drug, and Russia Heroin. Non-users, you know, typically refer to the drug as the flesh-eating drug, the zombie drug, the skin-eating drug. It's just because of the damage it causes, flesh-eating is actually very accurate. Why it got the name Crocodile? Kind of what we just talked about. When I'm going to show you some of these pictures in a minute, I'll, I'll show you that one right now. Look what that's doing to people's skin. That is, you know, they say make somebody look like a crocodile after their skin gets all those lesions. Crocodile's effects are similar to morphine and other opioids. Hits quick, hits hard, harder than morphine. You know, you got your respiratory depression, sedation, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, constipation, mental clouding, hypertension, urinary retention. And then with crocodile, some of the awful effects you got your gangrene, your phlebitis, you got thrombosis, both those, you know, associated with like blood clots, pneumonia, meningitis, blood infection, 
osteomyelitis, bone infections, liver and kidney damage, you know, from I, any IV use, you're going to have your HIV, AIDS, Hep C transmission type of things, um, speech and motor skill impairment, memory loss, and then of course, overdose and death. I can't imagine what gasoline and paint thinner are doing to, you know, brain cells and tissue and liver and kidney and lungs. Crocodile's withdrawal, very similar to other opioids, but it comes on quicker, two to three hours. When I was using heroin, the withdrawal usually came, you know, anywhere from like four to eight hours after last use, typically six, seven. Um, fentanyl, you know, three, four hours. Crocodile, it could be two to three hours. So people need to shoot up more often and the withdrawals come in quicker from the name Crocodile for what it's doing to people's skin. These are some of the pictures of people that have had the, you know, effects of Crocodile and what it is doing. And it is brutal. It is literally just some of these infections and some of these open wounds are, oh my God, I can't fathom it. it. It is terrible. People have to get limbs amputated. People are losing entire chunks of their body. And, and it can, not only does it pop up at the injection site, especially if somebody doesn't hit a vein, but that stuff's going throughout the body and lesions and cuts and all this can pop up from the inside out in other areas of the body. And then of course with that, you know, doctors and, and, and hospitals and the medical people got to cut off pieces of skin, skin grafts. Uh, this stuff is brutal what it is doing to people. One of the ways, you know, it's been described in the news is a drug that even heroin addicts are horrified of. I could see how, you know, if that's the only thing available, people are doing it. The scariest and craziest part of Crocodile is people's survival rate from the first time they inject is two to three years. That is insane. If somebody injects Crocodile for the first time, they are basically saying you are not going to live past two or three years because of the horrifying effects of this drug.